In the last two videos, we have understood what is a class and what are objects and constructors. Now in this video, let us try to implement the same scenario which we have discussed for understanding the classes and objects. Once again, let me repeat the requirement. We have a requirement to maintain a list of students where every student should have the details of roll number, student name, where the student name should be in the format of first name, middle name and last name. Along with that, we need to maintain the details about the course in which the student is enrolled. For the demos which I create in our course, I will be using Visual Studio Code. And you can always feel free to use any IDE or tools like Jupyter for writing the code. Since I'm going to use Visual Studio Code, let me first create a folder at the desktop and let me provide the name as API Demos. Now let me open the Visual Studio Code and let me open the API Demos folder. And first let me create a new file with the name introdemo.py. Hi friends, hope you are enjoying my videos. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon to get the notifications of all my latest videos. Friends, Many students are asking me where can we find your courses and how to get my courses for the best press. Friends, if you are already a Pluralsight subscriber and wanted to upgrade your skills towards Java stack such as JDBC, Servlets, JSP and Spring MVC with Hibernate through my courses, please check out the links present at the description on this video. Many students are requesting me to provide trainings on various technologies which I couldn't able to fulfill all these days. Now here is the good news. You can learn from me at the most affordable price 5 to 10 dollars for each course which means now you can upgrade your skills to the latest technologies at the price lesser than watching a movie. You can find my courses at Udemy and also in our website technoacademy.net. The best price of my course at Udemy you can find using the link provided at the description of this video. And also you can find the price I am offering at my website technoacademy.net. Wherever the price you feel lesser, subscribe my course from that website. Happy programming, your shaker. Now, in order to create the list of students, we need to have the student type. And since the student type requires the name first, let us define the name type. So let me type in class name colon. Now let us define a constructor to initialize the name type. So let me type in def underscore underscore init underscore underscore of self comma. The name requires first name middle name and the last name. So let us pass them as arguments. So let me type in first name comma middle name comma last name colon. Now let us set the members for the type names. So let me type in self dot first name equal to first name, self dot middle name equal to middle name and self dot last name equal to last name. Once the name type is defined, now we can define our student type. So let me type in class student colon and now let us define a constructor to initialize the members of the student type. So let me type in def underscore underscore init underscore underscore of self comma. We know that the student requires a roll number, student name and the course name in which the student has enrolled, right? So let me type in roll number comma student name comma course colon. Now let us set the members of the student types. So let me type in self dot roll number equal to roll number, self dot student name equal to s name and finally let me set the course. So let me type in self dot course name equal to course. Now we have a new type defined with the name student. Now let us try to create the instance for the student type. So let me type in student1 equal to student of. We need to pass the values for defining the student object. So let me type in roll number as 101 and next 
the student name is an object of type name right so we need to create an instance for the type name so let me type in name of and let me type in the values for the first name middle name and the last name and finally we need to specify the course name so let me type in object oriented programming with python this statement will create an object with the name student1 which is nothing but the instance of the student class in this way let me paste the same code to define two more student objects now my main requirement is to maintain the details of all the students so that we can access the student data easily so let us define a list to maintain the student details once again i repeat if you don't know python fundamentals you can enroll in my course python 3 programming a step by step guide for beginners to have proper fundamentals on python now let us continue with our coding so let me type in students equal to to define the list we need to open the square braces and let us pass all the student object as values so let me type in student1 comma student2 comma student3 if you have defined 100 student objects then you can pass those objects as values for the students list now let us display all the student details for that let us take the support of for loop so let me type in for student in students colon let me type in the print statement to display the student details so let me type in print of roll number colon braces slash n student name colon which consists of first name middle name and the last name so let me type in the braces three times and then once again a slash in finally let me type in course name colon braces dot format of now we need to specify the values for the arguments so let me type in student dot roll number and then we need to provide the value for the student name which is of type name so we need to specify student dot student name dot first name comma student dot student name dot middle name comma student dot student name dot last name and finally to get the course details we need to type in student dot course name now let me save the code and in order to execute the program from the visual studio code we need to open the terminal so let me open the terminal and now in order to execute the program we need to type in python and the program name so let me type in python intro demo dot py now we can observe the result which is displaying the list of all the student details hope you have got a fair idea on what is a class what is an object and what are constructors in the next video let us understand about static and instance or non static members of the class